And you can see here, we've got a gap. And you can see that gap. This is very, very common when you do not have proper tinning on your conductor. Now, of course, these are brass conductors, and you can see here, I can take this probe and go inside there, and that's a definitive issue. When you get these blobs, and a lot of guys in, uh, in a lot of videos illustrate these types of blobs. There's a couple different reasons for this. Typically, it's solder being used without the proper amount of flux, uh, or flux for that matter of high quality. Could also be a heat issue, but typically, it's a flux issue. There's not enough heat with that flux to actually get it to clean uh, the actual conductor, and then on top of that, to get the proper penetration. That's what's leading here to a blob. We also see conductors now penetrating the, the actual solder. And again, this is a three-phase cable, guys. This, I would highly recommend, be very, very careful with. If your connectors look like this, they are connected technically, which is something that always gets brought to my attention online. Yes, they are connected, but these can lead to issues, especially this one here with that gap. And we're going to come over here. And I'm going to show you now how we do this. Make sure that tip is clean. I'm coming in at a high angle. Get that drop. Touch. And I want that heat to penetrate. Boom. That's one. Now we're not high enough. You can still see the pocket is not fully filled. We're not exactly level, but you can see the tremendous difference of how that conductor looks. So what I'm going to do now, same process, teeny bit of flux. It's kind of amazing how the flux knows exactly where to go. I'm going to just bring this down a little bit. She's going to just adjust the camera because it has to work with me so I can see what I'm doing. Now we come over here, take a little solder, and now I'm just going to go through my copper ball and just rub it in. That's where we got a good tip. Come in, teeny bit. Come back. I'm not trying to adjust things too much, and I'm just going to keep building this up. Keep on building it. There we go. Keep the heat away. You'll see it bubble, and that solder just levels itself. We'll do one more time. We do have a little flux there, but I'm still not happy with that. I like to go a little bit more. Done. You can see barely enough flux on there. You get that residue, so to speak. And now I'm going to come in a bit more. I'm going to touch that. And the flux will do the rest. You'll notice I'm going over the cup a little bit just so we get penetration and we're done. And there you go. Now I'll clean that give you guys full visibility. 